lose all hope that the dark clouds of racial prejudice will soon pass away and the deep fog of misunderstanding will be lifted from our fear-drenched communities and in some not too distant tomorrow, the radiant stars of love and brotherhood will shine over our great nation with all their scintillating beauty. Yours for the cause of peace and brotherhood, Martin Luther King, Jr. Oh, beautiful for spacious skies, for amber waves of rain, for purple mountain majesty above the fruited plain. Please excuse me if I get a little choked up here and there because the thug in me has died. If you see me gazing off, taking pictures, grabbing a video to freeze this moment in time right now, order, please don't judge me. We have young people now realizing that democracy is something that you fight for. I'm a believer in transformative acts. From sea to shining sea. After everything you've been through, how do you feel about America in 2013? I'm optimistic. I'm optimistic. As a Pakistani, I look at history, and of course I know that the American relationship to history is very unusual. It's the only country in the world where when somebody says that's history, he means that's irrelevant. Education that awakens young people to their responsibilities as social changers and future makers. Depriving gay and lesbian citizens of the right to marry seriously harm them and harm their children. There's now, I think, a kind of stunning lack of imagination to understand the impact of the effects of sequestration. I don't think that we have supported small business in the way that we really need to. People are putting up new ideas on Kickstarter. How do we make this experience even better for for the creators and the backers. I remember after the election, uh, we, we were, at, you know, Clinton, uh, Clinton saw Bush and said, George, when you said that compassionate conservative thing, I knew we were in deep trouble. <laughs> he said, I knew, he said, that was just, that was just brilliant, because I knew when you keep your people and be evil and eat into our that was brilliant. One of the purposes of popular culture is to let people know they are not alone and to see yourself reflected in something truthfully. When you share your story, what's your passion, where you come from, what do you do, um, how are you contributing to your community, you realize that we have a lot of things in common and that my dreams are your dreams and that in so many ways, I am you. This is the biggest crowd to which I've spoken since my bar mitzvah. And, uh, <laughs> and I think some of you were at my bar mitzvah. Everyone brings something different to the table and when you come together, the things that you can create are remarkable.